Let our cry come before you, O Lord. Give us understanding according to your word. I read in a book recently that telling your congregation about your sermon prep is a little like bringing flour, salt, and shortening to the table along with the biscuits for your guests. It really isn't necessary. But I'd like to tell you just one thing about my preparation for this morning because I think it speaks to a bewilderment and incredulousness that many of us share around today's gospel. Let the little children come to me, Jesus says, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Wait a minute, I thought. Surely that's a lousy translation. The kingdom of God belongs to whiny, clingy, snot-nosed kids? Surely not. My halting elementary study of the Greek led me to conclude, not surprisingly, that the NRSV folks didn't do such a bad job. But there actually isn't a verb there for belongs. It's simply understood from the way the sentence is structured in a way that almost always implies dependence or belonging. That's right, dependence or belonging. So here are a few other ways to translate that sentence, hopefully one of which will help open, up it, open it up a bit. For of such as these is the kingdom of God. For of this sort is the kingdom of God. For the kingdom of God is of this sort, the nature of little children. It has been proposed that absolute faith and trust hand children the king's keys to God's kingdom. But today, I'd like us to consider a different aspect of childhood, the ability and tendency to be alive and awake and totally absorbed in the mystery of the present. As Dr. Brosend reminded us a few weeks ago, the reign of God is right here, right now. We're living in it. And maybe it belongs to those who open their eyes to the mystery of the present without fear or terror or hoarding. The current editor of Poetry Magazine, Christian Wyman, has lived with an incurable cancer for the past six years. It is a time that has sparked his passion for God and the mystery of Christ's incarnation. Right before one of his chemo sessions recently, he wrote the following poem addressing the boy he once was. It ends with this image. From the hard packed pile of old mown grass, from boredom, from pain, a boy's random slash unlocks a dark ardor of angry bees that link the trees and block his way home. I like to hold him, holding me, mystery mastering fear, so young, standing unstung under what survives of sky. I learned too late how to live. Child, teach me how to die. To such as these, the kingdom belongs. Mystery mastering fear, so young, standing unstung under what survives of sky. Child, teach me how to die. Amen. <laughs>